Yes guys, what's going on? Directed by Dav Reese here. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create this sick clone effect in Premiere Pro. So guys, before you jump into Premiere and start editing, first of all, you're going to need a couple of steps before you actually edit. So first of all, you're going to need a tripod or anything that can keep your camera still so it's not going to move at all. Once you have that, you're going to record the same shot three times uh, with the artist in different locations. So if I can show you an example here. So you can do as many clones as you want. I think three is a good starting point to be honest with you. Uh, it's not too complicated to do, it doesn't waste too much time on set. So I'd say three is probably the best. Depends what kind of shot you're going for. So here we are in Premiere and I just have these three shots lined over like this. So here's the first one the artist on the right hand side, second one with him on the left and then the third one of the artist in the middle. So what we're going to do is we're going to come to the top layer and we're just going to come over to opacity and we're going to click the free draw tool which is just we're going to make a mask. So what we're going to do now is just mask around Sometimes when you're filming these, the lighting can change a little bit. Uh, maybe the sun comes into it, so you need to be careful and you need to try your best to control the lighting. Otherwise, sometimes it can be a bit difficult afterwards. So maybe if you're filming outside, the sun might move around or it might go into the shade a little bit or something like that. So you need to be careful of that and try and pick a good spot so the lighting isn't going to change very much. So this is a lot easier when you're editing it. So now we're going to come over to Mask Feather and we're actually just going to feather this mask, which basically just kind of smooths out the edges so it's not so obvious that we've made a mask. So now as you can see we've masked in our subject and you literally you can't tell at all that it's been masked or anything so that was really good. Now we're going to come to our second clip which is the artist on the left hand side and again as simple as we're just going to come to opacity and we're going to make a mask. We're just going to, I'm going to draw around our subject again and then we're going to increase the mask feather and the expansion just a little bit. We now have a really cool clone effect. But that's not all we're gonna do. This effect is really cool, but I think you can use this effect even better. So this is what I'm gonna show you how to do right now. I think it looks cool when you introduce them one by one. So let's do that now. So I'm gonna line these up like so, which I've already done. So we're gonna introduce this one, then this one, then this one. So it should look something like this. Now all we're going to do is just we're going to add some effects to this. Our adjustment layers and we're just going to drag an adjustment layer on our footage. If you don't already have one, you can click this box, new item, adjustment layer, click this and then drag on. Now we have our adjustment layer in our project. We're just going to shorten it down and we're going to come to the first cut. And we're going to come over to effects and we're going to type in transform. And we're going to drag that onto the adjustment layer come to effects and scroll into the middle so where this clip is introduced we're then going to click scale and we're going to increase the scale and then we're going to come to the start and then we're going to hit this arrow which resets it and then again near towards the end we're then going to come over to effects and we're going to type in blur we're going to get the Gaussian blur and we're going to click this and we're going to come down to Gaussian blur click it in the middle again Increase the blur touch. You can make this as blurry as you want, it's completely up to you. Come back to the start keyframe, reset keyframe again, and then on this one. So now we should have a simple zoom in, like so. Really nice. You can also hold option and drag it up, which increases it again. Then we can hold these two again, and then we can drag up, and then we can just line these up. And make another adjustment layer, drag it on our project. If you've got flashes and stuff already made, go ahead and check your own flashes on there. But these are the ones I've created. So we're just going to go to effects and simple flash number one. I'm going to drag that on and then we're going to line this up here. So these keyframes, just again, just line them up like so. What I also like to do is I'll grab the adjustment layer, create it to the length of your to the length of your clone effect come to effects and then transform, put the transform on there, go to effects and then 
come to the end, increase it, say 125, hit the keyframe, go to the front, and then reset it. So you should have a subtle zoom all the way in throughout the affair. So guys, that was how to create that clone effect within Premiere Pro. I hope you did enjoy. Um, this effect is really cool. Remember, when you're filming, you need to get a tripod or a gimbal or something to keep the camera still. Try and control the lighting as much as you can. So guys, we're closing in on a thousand subscribers now. I want to say thank you to everyone that subscribed, commented, liked, everything. It really helps me out. I appreciate all the support. Don't forget, there's going to be a giveaway at a thousand subscribers. So if you want to win some editing packs that are on my website, don't forget to subscribe and you can enter the giveaway. And yeah, I'll be, there's more details on that soon. But anyway, guys, don't forget to leave a like and comment on this video. It helps me out a lot and I'll see you in the next one, guys. Peace.